Here's how to survive a cone snail attack. First off, don't collect shells that stand out too much. The shell design of a cone snail sticks out way more to try and get people to pick it up, so they can then be attacked with its venomous sting. Make sure to wear protective footwear if you're walking along shallow parts of the tropical waters, because the cone snail often hides in the sand by the shore, then sneaks up on you and attacks you when you're not expecting it. If you're walking in the water, pay attention to what you feel, because the snail is capable of releasing insulin-based toxins, which when you're close by to it, it reduces your blood sugar level. This will make you feel dizzy, so if you're dizzy, get out of the water because you're about to be stung. Now if you've been stung, stay calm and don't panic. When you get nervous, your blood flow will increase, spraying the venom across your whole body a lot faster. Keep pressure on the area to slow down the spread and head to the hospital as soon as possible. If you've been stung and you're nowhere close to a hospital, take advantage of every second. Because there's no antidote for its venom, and it causes respiratory problems and muscle spasms due to the pain.